Are we live? Should I sit up? Live from Empire's Comics Vault with a live studio audience of two. <laughs> comics <sighs> All right, I'm ready. I wasn't that ready. All right, count me down again. What do we have going on down here at Empire's this week? And of course, the new comic book. Tonight, Tower Brewing, 6 p.m. Come down, play some board games, get a drink, bring your own, play ours, and just hang out. It's a fun night. I'm looking forward to getting out of here early and uh, leaving Tony at the shop and go playing some games and getting some beers. Uh, all month long, Heather Lee will be on the art gallery wall, so make sure you take a peek. And September 28th, mark your calendar for Creative Women Minicon. Go to the Facebook page to check all the details on who will be there. This week's top three is the Wonder Woman reprints. I call, or I'm calling it a reprint because it is. It's the first time it's been in comic book shops, but these were Walmart exclusives. Is that not the stupidest thing you've ever heard? Walmart exclusives that are now in comic book shops. Big names on them too. There's a Superman one, there's a Batman one, and of course, how can you not have Wonder Woman to complete the Trinity? Hickman, Powers of X number three. That thing has just been blowing off the shelves and it's been worth it because it has been such a good read. And History of the Marvel Universe, second issue. They're literally starting from the beginning of time giving you the entire history of the Marvel Universe with all the retcons, all the pieces put together, and it was beautifully done in the first one. I'm looking forward to the second one. Absolute Carnage has got some dead pull out this week. The only Absolute Carnage at all this week. Ghost Spider starting over at number one. I think she made it all the way to 12. Good job, Marvel. Valkyrie. First one was good. I didn't think I was going to like it as I started it. Real typical beginning. Oh, look at this. I'm fighting a bunch of no, you know, C-lister villains. Oh, look, one got away. By the end of the book, Jason Aaron pulled me back in. I knew I should have trusted Jason from the beginning. Guardians of the Galaxy, Tony Stark's slot has been doing his magic over there. And for the little ones, they put out quite a few this week with Captain Marvel, Avengers, Spider-Man, and IDW just keeps it coming because they also have one for Star Wars. Conan the Savage Sword, the book that was out last week was wonderful. If you guys did not get it, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was wonderful. Ribic did it, he wrote it and drew it. It was a quick read, but it was wonderful to look at. Star Wars TIE Fighter, Weatherman almost made the top three, but Wonder Woman just barely beat him out. Priest is working on this one. The first issue sold really well. Number two is out tomorrow. And look at this, going back to the day, Transformers 84, number zero. I mean, why wouldn't you want to go revisit that? Fair Lady almost made the top three as well. Great detective story. Each issue is a standalone, but you'll get more by doing them all. So give it a shot. You can find an interview with the creator, Brian Shermer, over on our YouTube channel. So go check it out. Find out a little bit more about him. New image book. Look at that Otley cover. That is ridiculous. This looks like a superhero version of I Hate Fairyland, just over the top and crazy. Hellboy is back with another BPRD special. Batman and Gotham Girl with the City of Bane. Okay. This should have been in the top three, and I wish I could replace Wonder Woman right now. Jimmy Olsen, number one, Fraction. It was hilarious. Give it a shot. Pick it up. Lois Lane has her own book now. It's completely the opposite, completely serious, but that Jimmy Olsen book was wonderful. More Year of the Villains. These are one-shots, each devoted to a villain that ha now has the power that Luther is giving them to do what they want. We have a Green Lantern Sinestro one on the wall, and now we've got this. Aquaman with Kelly Sue, and... More Black Label, a big giant Frank Miller and John Romita Jr. And I've got to tell you, John Romita Jr.'s art has probably never looked this good. Well, maybe back in the 80s when he was working on X-Men, but this stuff looks great. So we will see you guys tonight, hopefully, over at Tower Brewing. And then, of course, when you're in the shop, check out Heather Lee's art. And September 28th, put it on your calendar right now. Creative Women, Minicon 2019.